Hey guys, it's Matt from Electric All Wheel. Uh, we're gonna do a quick video here. We're gonna change the brakes and put on some cable hydraulics, which I purchased from Amazon. Got the blue ones so they match in the scheme for the uh, electric XP 2.0. Uh, we're gonna actually put some of these on the step through, but this has been my go-to bike for any of the videos that you may have seen earlier. We did do the battery capacity increase with a 10 amp hour, 48 volt battery on the seat post. And we've got a balanced discharge on that. So check out that video. And so now we're gonna install these. Just so everybody knows, the smaller one is for the front brake. That would be the bracket underneath. And the larger one is for the rear brake. We'll remove these two screws and then just use the bracket that's already here on the front. So we're gonna leave these two and just remove that screw and that screw and then install this. First things first is to remove the cable or un loosen up the cable and pull it so that it can be reattached here and we'll probably have to pull one of the cable caps off. So here we go. Well, this one didn't even have a cable cap. That's disappointing. But it is a used bike, so what can I say? I will be installing one. So this is it's a pretty simple install. Should go fairly quickly. They do provide screws that have some thread sealant on them so that it stops them from backing out. Go ahead and seat that, bring it on down. Perfect. I'm just giving a little tightening just so I can have it hold so I can mount it back up. So I'm just going to take up some of the slack because I know there'll be some when I install it. Give that a little tightening. Now I'm looking to see that it's not rubbing. Now I'm giving my final Titan to the caliper after I've checked it. Just making sure that it's centered on the disc. I did squeeze the caliper to make sure that it's good, good and tight. The fine tune adjustments can be had here where you adjust these screws and then adjust the stop. There it is. Looks fancy. One last piece of important hardware is the cable cap. Now I carry extras just in the event that one of them goes missing, like this one. And it is essential to keep those cables from fraying, like you saw. 
there we are. All right, the back one. Beautiful. into the caliper up to the bracket now it's important on these that you don't strip the screws and it's gonna feel a little awkward because it has the thread sealant on it so it's like did I cross thread it or is it the thread sealant so this is where experience does come into play but this is not beyond the capabilities of someone else the novice user or the first-time installer it's intended to be a little tight, and that is so that the screws don't back out. Generally, you can feel your first three or four turns move freely, and then you move into the thread sealant. And at that point, you should have a good catch. So we're going to make sure our cable's seated correctly. There we go. Now I'm just giving a little bit of a nudge up the cable. I'm going to tighten it down. And see what that feels like off the handle. nice and tight that's good so now i'm gonna go ahead check my alignment with my disc and tighten it up just trying to make sure that the disc is perfectly centered between the two brake pads and then I'm also checking it to make sure that it doesn't rub when I'm rotating. A lot of times people will just squeeze the handles and hold on to them, tighten the brackets and then they will just make sure that the caliper is centered in that way. Don't want to forget your cable cap. I always have my extras on hand. There you have it. They look pretty good. So, sorry about my mess. It's really hot here in Florida. The humidity is off the charts lately, uh, but we got her done. I really like the color coordination. One of the things that you didn't see was the installation of the reflective tape, but now that I have the calipers on with the reflective tape, I think it's a, just a good accent piece. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I'm super stoked to have gotten this bike. If you haven't already, check out the website, check out the selection guide. If you're not sold on electric, check out something else. Go to electricallwheel.com and check out our selection guide where you can see images and information that'll help you make a better decision about an e-bike that you may like. Also, if you're in the Tampa Bay area, check out the Facebook group e-bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. We're going to be posting up an interactive map and trail guide on our website and then linking it through that Facebook group to help the users and all of those e-bikers of Tampa Bay, Florida really reach out and broaden their horizons in terms of rides and what to expect while they're doing it. 
Give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll talk to you next time.